Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I'll teach you how to make this exact animation in Blender 2.8 in Eevee. As always, it's going to be uh, quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. And this tutorial was brought to you by Audible, which offers you a free audiobook if you use the link below, or you can check out my website to see the top picks for uh, Blender. And before we begin the tutorial, make sure to download the latest version of Blender 2.8, the link is in the description. Ok, so click X to delete the default cube, and then select the light, and click X to delete the light as well. Then go to Add, Mesh, and then add a UV sphere. Then click S, then 3 to increase the scale of the sphere. And then the next step is to add a modifier, so click Add Modifier, and add a Subdivision Surface Modifier. Set the subdivisions to 3, and then apply the modifier. We can also add smooth shading to the object, so go to Objects, and then click Shade Smooth. Okay, and uh, let's add a light source as well. So go to Add, Light, and then add a Sun. And then click G, then Set to grab the Sun on the Z axis. And then let's go into the Sun settings, and set the Specular value to 0, and then set the Radius value to 0 as well. Okay, so let's go into Rendered View, to see what it looks like when it's rendered. And we can also change the background color to be completely black, just like in space. Ok, so now it's time to add the earth texture, so select the sphere, go into edit mode, and then you need to click U to unwrap, and then click uh, sphere projection. And uh, then we need to open a new window, and then go into the UV editor, and then we need to open the texture, so uh, click open. And you can find the uh, textures in the link below, so uh, download colors, and clouds. And then once the download is finished, we can go back to Blender and apply the texture to the object. So uh, let's open the colors image. So open image. So by unwrapping the three-dimensional object, we can add a two-dimensional texture to the object. So let's go into the materials. So click new. And then next to base color, select the image texture. And then we need to add the earth texture to the material. So select the uh, colors. Right now the earth texture looks kind of foggy, so uh, we need to increase the roughness. So let's set it to uh, 0 0.8. And then we need to duplicate the object to add the cloud texture as well. So uh, click Shift D, then left click, click S, then 1.005 to increase the size of the uh, duplication. So the duplication just needs to be slightly larger and then delete the material, because we need to add a new material for the uh, clouds. Now, to create the cloud material, we need to mix two shaders. So click Add Shader. And for the first shader, let's set it to uh, Principled, for the transparency. And then scroll down, and uh, first we need to increase the uh, transmission value. So set it to 1 and then set the roughness to 0. Now, to get true transparency, we also need to enable refraction. So scroll down and enable screen space refraction, and then go to the uh, EV render settings, and then enable screen space reflections, and then refraction. And as you can see, we have the transparency, and now we need to add the uh, second shader with the cloud texture. So uh, set it to diffuse, and then set the uh, color to image texture, and then we need to apply the cloud textures to the object. So uh, go into edit mode. And then delete the previous image. And then click open. And then uh, go to the uh, downloads and select the clouds texture. And then open image. And as you can see, the cloud texture is now applied to the object. So uh, let's go back to the material and select the uh, clouds. Okay, so now we have the uh, two textures applied to the objects. So uh, let's go ahead and save before we continue. So uh, go up to File, and then click Save As, and then give the file a name, and then save it wherever you want on the computer, and then click Enter to save. And then let's go into the render settings. Let's enable Bloom. Now, when it comes to the bloom values, I recommend experimenting with the values, but I'm just going to set the threshold value to 2, 
the knee value to 1, the radius to 10, the intensity to 0.8, and the clamp value to 1. And then I'm going to make the bloom blue. So uh, give it a blue color. So something like this. Now, if you want to see what the scene looks like after the final render, you can also hide the overlay. So I go to the top and uh, disable overlay. And uh, let's animate the rotation of the uh, planet. So uh, select the sphere and then hold in shift and select the second sphere and then click control P to set the first sphere parent to the second sphere and then select the second sphere and then click N to see the transform settings and then click I to keyframe the rotation. And then let's go to the last frame, which is frame 250. And then let's set the set rotation value to 10 and then click I to keyframe. And right now the animation is not linear, which means that uh, it speeds up and then slows down again. So we need to go into the graph editor and then click T and set the keyframe interpolation to linear so that the animation speed is constant. Okay, so uh, let's pause the animation. And uh, now it's time to set up the camera. So click number zero to look through the camera and lock the camera to view. And then make sure the earth is within the frame of the camera and in the middle. And then let's uh, disable a lock camera to view so that we can zoom in. Okay, so it looks good. So uh, let's increase the amount of samples. So let's set both the render and the viewport sampling to 200. The next step is to go to the output settings. And if you want to, you can also increase the resolution. If not, just leave it at uh, the 1080p resolution. So for the 4K resolution, you need the 3840 times uh, 2160. And then I'm also going to increase the frame rate. So set the frame rate to 30 FPS. And then select a folder where you want the final animation to be saved. So I'm just going to save it at the uh, TMP folder, but it doesn't really matter where you save it. And then give the animation a name because this is a video file. And uh, then change the file format from PNG to AVI JPEG. If you know how to use PNG, just uh, use PNGs and set the quality to 100%. And then let's switch to the image editor. And uh, then let's make a test render. So we'll start off by changing the display mode to the image editor and then click render and then render image to make a test render. And after just a few seconds of rendering, we have the final render, which is really quick considering it's a 4K resolution image. So uh, let's go back to the 3D viewport and then let's create a new save before we render out the whole animation. So go to File, Save As, and then click on the plus sign, and then click Save As Blender File. And then we can finally render the whole animation, so click Render, and then click Render Animation. And that's it for this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll post more EV tutorials very soon. So thank you guys for watching, and subscribe.